What's up everybody and welcome back to Gishelle Tech TV. So today I'm going to be talking about a very popular, highly discussed topic amongst people. Um, I landed my first 100% remote job in January of this year, which is what I wanted. It was on my to-do list, my not bucket list, but like goals list to be in a 100% remote coding development related job. And I don't mean a temporarily remote or remote with office days, but 100% remote. So in this video, I want to talk about what I think about it so far. Back in 2020, I did write a blog post about this, but that job was temporarily remote. However, since it's still part of my tech journey, feel free to check it out at devgeshell.tech slash articles. And the link is also in the description. I know there's a lot of discussion about remote work right now. Some people love it, some people hate it. Some people believe that remote work should be the norm, especially if the job can be done remotely. And others think that going to the office should be the norm. It's been almost six months now for me in this role as a web administrator. You can actually check out the video where I talked about what I do in that role. Having been in this role longer now, I'm definitely gonna be posting an update to that. But since I've started my career in coding development, I now have a pretty good perspective on how I'm feeling about 100% remote work as it relates to being in this particular field. So what are the pros? What do I like about 100% remote work? Number one, zero commute. Instead of spending mornings commuting, it's replaced with other things. I can wake up early and learn something new that I wanna learn. As it relates to my career or anything else, I can sleep in until five minutes before work or anything else I wanna do. Number two, lunch hour, less stress. So first and foremost, uh, most importantly to me is privacy. Um, there's no need to feel like I have to talk or socialize during my break, AKA mental break. I can sleep or do something else I like, such as go for a swim, ride my bike, etc. There's absolutely no hassle to rush and go find something to eat. My refrigerator is here and everything else I need is here. <laughs> and sometimes I just like to go and sit out on my balcony, drink tea, catch up on messages. And there's no need to explain myself or where I'm going, I can just be. So number three is more productive. There's no pressure for unnecessary socialization for the sake of culture. I can literally do my job and go home, which is what I'm there for. I get paid to do a job and that's literally the only reason why I'm there. <laughs> I don't feel that I get paid to participate in anything outside of that unless it's absolutely required or something. In the past, I have felt that pressure and it was draining in my opinion. Am I here to be a social butterfly or am I here to get stuff done? Trying to do both is a bit too much for me. Although the company where I am now, they take us to Las Vegas for training each year and I'm not arguing with that. That was fun. And just less distractions, I can completely focus on my tasks, on the work. And to be honest, my employer gets much more out of me because of that, so my happiness directly benefits them. Four, work anywhere. I can pretty much work anywhere at home, in a cafe. If I wanna travel, I can bring my work with me. Though I prefer not to do that, I'd rather just use my PTO, but it's cool that I have that option. And five, location independence. I'm not necessarily tied to where I currently live. If I wanna to move to a new state, I can just let my employer know. We have teammates in many different states, so where I am in the country is not a huge deal at all. Now for the cons. What do I not like about 100% remote work? Now on to the subject of collaboration. So I've read articles, various articles, and watched videos where it said that working remote limits or can limit collaboration. Personally, I have not felt this, especially with where I work now. Um, have I felt it in the past? Absolutely. But where I am now, communication is great. People are helpful and anybody from any department can jump on a call and we can just talk through something. I think it's only difficult when you don't have those things, such as great communication, teamwork, willingness to help others and vice versa not feeling like you're just completely isolated, just on an island, but people are always available to help. Also where I work now, they do these really cool employee check-ins where you can give feedback about your role 
how you're feeling do you feel supported do you feel you need more training and i've never had that before and i think it's awesome so shout out so i do think that all depends on where you work and how the company is managed so would i ever work in an office again let me think that's a big no <laughs> remote for life so those are my main thoughts about working 100% remote. And what are your thoughts? Do you prefer remote work, office work, or a little bit of both? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one.